Hello, fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, fire signs, we need to check into the full moon energy, okay? Because we're already in the that energy. Um, the full moon is tomorrow on the 24th, okay? It's the full moon in Virgo. And um, this full moon, I feel, cements in any decisions you've made, um, any... Um, um, any intentions that you've set for your future, okay? It's setting those kind of like, I, I kind of get the sense that it's being set in stone, okay? And that also means that there may be some people from your past that can't come back in. It's causing like a lot of chaos in the background, okay? Um, there could be some major shakeups during this full moon, and there could be some very quick endings as well. Um, yeah... I'm also just feeling like people needing to clear their energy. You may be wanting to do a home cleansing as well. Home cleansings keep coming up in tarot, you guys, um, kind of across the board. A lot of people are thinking about that and talking about that more. Okay, here's that shakeup. Okay, there's going to be major shakeups. There could be breakups. Shakeups and breakups coming in um, in this full moon energy. Somebody is completely off balance as well. Anyway, just take what resonates by your signs. Leo, uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, right? There you are, Queen of Wands. And thank you, everyone, for all of your support, man. I truly do mean that. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Everybody new here, welcome. All right, so somebody is going to be watching you, okay, not really knowing how to approach you. Um, I feel like it's definitely someone from your past, but spirit has this person blocked. If you notice that this ship can't come in, they may be looking for the right opportunity to approach you. Um, but you're you're calling your energy back in, okay? You're like, mm -mm, I'm taking control of my future. I'm going to have this new passionate beginning. You're looking beautiful too, fire signs. Um, this is the sexiest queen in the deck. So you're very sexy. You could be posting some things on social media um, in the next few days, okay? That this person can't stop looking at your photos, okay? For real. It's, it's, um, it's making them way off balance, okay? They could be taking another look at, at you. Like, this is kind of like giving you a second look as well. Like, taking another look at things that have happened in the past. Looking at this connection. Um, wanting you back. Okay? They're wanting you back. They're, they're wondering if you have anyone else in the picture around you. I have. Are you talking to anyone new? Has anybody made their approach? These are the kind of things that they're looking for. They're studying everything you post. They're studying your pictures, okay? And you could have recently met someone new, all right? Um, you may already be in a new connection with possibly a King of Cups, maybe a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this person could very well find out um, in the next few days that you could have a new love already. I'm seeing you in some kind of commitment maybe with someone new. They could even be getting some tarot card readings on you as well. I saw the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this person does not want to let you go. Um, I feel like they're discovering something. This is also a full moon. Of um, During this full moon, there's going to be a lot of things exposed. Okay? And I feel like maybe you're making it public. You could be making it public that you have someone new. Or this person may see you in a photo um, with, with other people around you. And it drives them kind of crazy. They get instantly jealous. Okay? They get instantly... <laughs> they get, like, infuriated. Okay? Um, yeah, because they don't want to let you go, and they're seeing that they're missing out on an opportunity. Th th this could have your person in, like, jealous tears, okay? It's going to be, like, jealousy tears, because this is them being jealous and 
and angry and envious and they kind of pop off a little bit here but this is them crying at the same time crying over spilt milk because you're having this new beginning okay with somebody new um yeah and it's a king of cups energy somebody very loving very sweet kind giving nurturing hold on let me see what fell on the floor yeah you've got a couple of people that you could be talking to but i feel like you've already made your choice these are on the cutting room floor okay yes you know i feel like um you've met other people in the past but this king of cups gives you emotional um emotional fulfillment okay they give you love they're very loving this could be somebody who pampers you a lot okay and this person from your past they can't stand it they don't like what they're hearing at all they're wondering what can they do okay how what are they going to say to try to stop this how are they this, this is somebody kind of taking a break and trying to figure out i feel like they're making a plan here what can they do to stop this they're tapping on this blade like hmm you know what i'm saying yeah what can they do to stop this two of swords what can they do to end this connection for you you're because you're moving on you're moving on there's here's that full moon energy this new person could possibly be a cancer or you're just very determined you know like nothing is gonna you're gonna make sure nothing stops um no one gets in the middle of this new connection okay i'm also feeling this protective energy off of you like oh no especially with it coming out as a queen of wands she's feisty right now you're in this feisty energy and i feel like you're protective you're protective of a new connection or this is i mean you may meet somebody and you're you're going to be protecting this person it can happen um any time in the next i don't know in the next week okay maybe four days Yep, and this person from your past, they're going to be stuck. They're not going to know what to do. Okay, this is like a major, a major shakeup in their life. Earth angel energy, and you're, you're over this person. Very balanced in your emotions. You're not emotional over them. You're thinking clearly. Your, your energy is strong and determined. You're over them. You've healed, collective. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, especially, I've got this heavy Sagittarius energy. All right. Yeah. And uh, you're putting yourself out there, like on the dating scene. It's got this person very burdened. Okay. That other people are noticing you. You're attracting the attention of a lot of other people. You're in this beautiful like successful star energy you could have your own platform um you could maybe have a an online business and this person's going to be watching like seriously they're going to watch everything that you post this is um online exposure okay pictures of you right possibly pictures of you with another person they're going to be watching this and they're going to be like really burdened by this this weekend. They're going to have a really bad weekend. OK, yeah, because things are changing in your life now. And this this means that your person can't come back in. They can't come back. OK, this wheel of fortune I'm seeing as a big, giant, heavy vault door that's slamming shut the uh, this is also marks the end to a cycle and the beginning to a new one and this person is i feel like now they're out in the cold okay you could have been dealing with a pisces i've also got um taurus virgo capricorn on the bottom of the deck what else can you show me for my fire signs 
Yeah, somebody is like, there. It, it almost feels like a shock. Whatever they see on on the internet, especially like your pictures, like, woo, it kind of knocks the wind out of them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this person, I feel like um, they breadcrumbed you. They, they had a choice to make, and they didn't. They just kind of avoided it, okay? They avoided making a decision in the past, and I feel like now it's all caught up to them now, okay? Now they, they, waited, they waited on this for too long. Now their chance is gone, okay? This person, they're never going to be able to stop thinking about you. They're going to be all in their head about you with someone new. Okay, this is this new person having a victory with you. Okay? Yeah, and they're not going to be, even though they're going to want to try to distract themselves here, they're not going to be able to. This is going to, this is going to eat away at them. Possibly for years. Um, it's going to eat away at them. Because, see, they could have had this new beginning with you. Um, but they, they avoided it. They treated you badly. They watched you suffer. They watched you go through a transformation as well. They, they chose other people over you. They really missed out. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel like too, they made you wait and you're just not waiting for this person anymore. You're starting a new cycle collective. Okay. And you're starting it meeting someone new um, and defending a new connection. Yep, and they're ending, they're ending this last cycle and starting their new cycle in the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Hangman. Really bad way to start a new cycle. Okay? Burdened by this, unable to stop thinking about you, and imagining you being touched by someone else. But they, they did this to themselves, though. Okay, they did. Whoever this person is, they, um, they avoided co uh, confronting you. They, they avoided telling you the truth about everything that they've done to you. Okay, and now they're stuck. Uh, stuck in their head. They're going to be stuck on you. They're going to be unable to get over you okay Oof. let's see what advice or whatever spirit wants to say here what else does do my fire signs need to know leo aries sagittarius what do my fire signs need to know yeah see and you're like we have a lot of questions we want to know the whole thing like, we want to know what happened. We want to know, are they getting their karma? Where's my justice, right? Right now, you have a lot of questions. And I feel like Spirit is trying to say, you're blessed. These things are coming in. Just go with the flow, okay? And be patient, right? You're about to see a huge change. There's a new love connection that's coming in if you haven't already met them. For some of you, if you haven't already met this new person, it's probably because you still need to clear the past energy out. Okay? Spirit wants you healed and over the past before you start something new with this new person. Okay? Yeah. So I feel like some of you may still need to um, clear out clutter. Um uh, heal, finish your healing process, okay? You need to be over this last person before a new one comes in. All right, fire signs. Yeah, before a change comes in. Yes, thank you. You still need to um, get rid of some kind of negative energy or make space maybe in your home. There's something that you're being called to do or get rid of or heal from before this change happens, okay? But spirit's right on it. They're like, we've got, 
look, here's that egg right there. They, they're like, we already created this for you. We've got somebody new that's coming in for you. We're just um, waiting for you to finish healing from the past. Okay? I feel like that's what it is. I feel like that's what it is, is releasing this past person and clearing out that energy. You may want to do like um, a home cleansing, cleanse your energy, right? Maybe burn some sage, um, take a spiritual bath, get out into nature, get grounded, um, raise your vibrations, realize that you've got better coming, okay? And just know, I feel like maybe sometimes all we need is like some kind of sign that we're getting our justice, some kind of reassurance. Let this be your reassurance. Okay, your person the, the, from your past, they are getting their karma. Their karma is to spend years of their future, the next cycle, thinking about you and being burdened by the thought of you being loved the right way by someone else. They're getting their karma. That's like mental and emotional anguish for this person. So, you know, yeah, they're getting their karma. You're getting your justice. You're about to be blessed with new love, but you need to find a way to release the burdens from the past, okay? All right, so anyway, Leo, Aries, Sag, that's what I've got for this reading for the full moon energy, okay? Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Yay. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome family out here. And um, until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.